Good to be back with you. We're, we've been uh, exploring the topic of God's peace. And uh, here we are again, and this time we're going to look at some of the practical instructions that the Apostle Paul gave in Romans chapter 12 and uh, related to the peace, okay? And in uh, Romans 12, 17, it says, Repay no one evil for evil. Have regard for good things in the sight of all men. What a statement. If it is possible, as much as depends on you, live peaceably with all men. Beloved, do not avenge yourselves, but rather give place to, the, to wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, says the Lord. What a passage. And you, you know, it really speaks to us about the Christian life and the walk in uh, faith, the walk by faith in the Christian life. Have regard for good things in the sight of all men. In other words, want the best for all, whether they're your friend or your enemy. Want the best. And I think that's basically love your neighbor as yourself. It's basically the same uh, teaching being repeated there. And, it, and then he says, if it is possible, as much as depends on you, Live peaceably with all men. You know, we need his peace. And we need it if it's within our ability. We need God's peace in every situation we, when we interact with others. This is an interesting passage to me. And I think it's a challenge to us in godliness and sanctification as believers that uh, we, we not be those that are uh, constantly conflicting with others um, uh, unnecessarily. And so somebody might just say, well, he's just that way, or that's his attitude, or he's, he's grumpy, or, or he, you know, no, 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 no. We need the Lord to help us to overcome these things. As much as depends on us, we should live peaceably with all men. Uh, even with our enemies. And he had said earlier in the passage, uh, blessed the, bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those that weep. Be of the same mind toward one another. Do not set your mind on high things, but associate with the humble. Do not be wise in your own opinion. Repay no one evil for evil. It's a powerful statement. And even for those that persecute, he says, do not curse them. And I don't know if it, you, you know, definitely it would have to do with their conversation, but not only that. And I probably a curse like, I hope God destroys them, or I hope God will attack them, or I, I wish God would just, you know, uh, get them back for what they've done to us or how they've acted or how they're acting. You know, I believe the apostle saying here, if it's within our ability, we ought to be living at peace. It's a powerful statement and it's a challenge to us. And, it, you know, it takes us back to the Sermon on the Mount and when the Lord Jesus had that kind of pray, pray for for our enemies, you know, that kind of thing, and, and bless those who curse us. All of that fits together in the Christian life. It's not an easy way, but it's the right way. And if it's within your ability, live at peace with others. If it is at all possible, they may not let you. You can't control that. Maybe you've had such a conflict, you can't control it. Or maybe they're holding on to some, some bitter thing or hard thing against you. That's their choice. They have to make those choices. But if it depends on you, live at peace, peaceably with all people. I believe God will bless you for that. I think that'll be the kind of person he'll, he'll bless and the kind of life that he'll, he'll bless. Father in heaven, enable us to live peaceably with others. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.